we didn't get round to climate, but what I'm what I'm going to say is that on other shows, uh, other than the drama show, I might get into climate as reality. Yeah, uh, it's worth doing. It's been the hottest day in the world. Uh, it hasn't ever felt like it. I know it didn't feel like it in England, but it just globally, it has been the hottest day in the world last week, ever. So well, it's had two most degrees. Most of the continent. Most of it's very hot. Uh, apart from yes, apart from our particular bit of France, which is very cold. Oh. <laughs> I have a I have an unofficial uh, go, a godlike power, which is the El Nemo year. It's always very cold where I am. It's, it happens the last two El Nemo years. The rest of the planet is warmed up, but the bit the, there's often when you you get a climate anomaly and you get a bit that's uncharacteristically cold, and that's normally where I am. Well, it, it might be a benefit. It, I'm sure it is. It's a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, right. On that thought, I guess we stop. But yes, it would be very good to do climate reality stories because uh, the more it is done, the more people know that actually we're on schedule to warm up by comfortably over two degrees and comfortably over two degrees is very, very likely to get rid of... Well, put it this way, it becomes impossible to grow food as we currently do it. And at that point, you might as well kiss goodbye to the world we know. Okay. And I wouldn't put an awful lot of money on extra flood defences in uh, 50 years' time. Well, that's quite interesting. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted to ask you. Um, we've got uh, a minute. The, f- the flood in Gilgamesh. Yeah. How, how does that happen? Because the, the Today programme has done a very short version of Gilgamesh, but they didn't mention the flood. Okay, so the flood is much older than the story. So the flood legend is thought to be one of the oldest legends intact from humanity. And, of course, there were an awful lot of ancient floods. So back in 6000 BC, so just outside human history, recorded human history, uh, England became an island. Did you know that? It's Doggerland. Doggerland floods in 6000 BC. Oh, so, okay. so within the memory of the memory of the people writing Gilgamesh, there had been very great floods. So that's the kind of the actual history. Um, the in the in the story the humans become so loud that it becomes impossible for the great gods to sleep and so enhill says a sleep has become impossible due to the noise of mankind due to the noise of mankind due to the noise of and so they decide to destroy the world the uh, mankind in the flood and fascinatingly in the gilgamesh version i like the differences uh, uh of the story it's the gods that learn the lesson so they learn that you've got to lay upon the sinner their transgression. So it was clearly an overreaction just to flood the world because you could and wipe out mankind because they were too noisy. And they vow never to do that again. They'll just send a plague and kill half of us because that would have been more fitting. <laughs>